fight. Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, some news today. Nintendo released their financial results for the last year. Now, even though it wasn't a very good year at all, of course, with the Wii U being sold at a loss for over a year and a half, they did announce that the Wii U is now selling uh, no longer at a loss. They didn't specify if it was selling at a profit, but they did say that uh, no longer a loss from what Iwata said. So that's good news, <clears throat> which means that every Wii U they sell now is not going to uh, be drawing them more into the red. Uh, they targeted nearly 4 million more Wii U's to be sold this year, expecting uh, Smash Brothers and Mario Kart 8 to drive sales even further. And they also announced uh, a Nintendo character uh, near, near field communication uh, game. Uh, they didn't specify the game, but they said they will be releasing figurines that are interactive with a new some new games they're releasing this year, which will also drive sales and increase uh, interest in the Wii U. And they're releasing a uh, mobile phone application as well for Mario Kart 8, so people can see. Uh, Mario Kart TV and to share with their friends videos and and uh, see their videos online so that should be pretty good so so it wasn't all bad news thankfully for them so anyway hopefully uh, in the future they we have some more good news from Nintendo about, about their uh, situation Iwata did say that they are not going to abandon the Wii U, in which we already, most people who have already been following Nintendo knows that they probably were never going to do that in the first place, since uh, abandoning the Wii U would basically kill sales of their next system that they release, so that should never be an option for any console ma manufacturer, unless they had a situation similar to Sega where Financially, they couldn't support the system any longer due to the nearly bankrupt situation they were in. But Nintendo has billions and billions of dollars, so that's not going to happen. Now they can fully support Wii U. Now that it's not selling at a loss, they can uh, hopefully get some more sales and increase interest with this um, near field play type of games that they have going. The, th the 3DS has been doing well. They announced that it reached the 43 million sold mark. So, um, of course, due to Pokemon and Tamagotchi Life, which is coming soon, and Monster Hunter, and those games have all been a uh, big help to the, to the uh, 3DS. Of course, the 3DS has always been popular in Japan. So... They also announced a uh, new system update for the Wii U, which is now going to come in June, which will dramatically increase the boot-up time of the Wii U by 20 seconds. You can actually choose the game, right? Uh, you can turn on the gamepad, choose the game from the screen, and the game will boot directly instead of going to the uh, Mi Plaza, which it currently does. So that should dramatically increase jump into the game no longer having to wait for all the all those little me's to load the screen up then have you uh, be able to choose your game on the gamepad so that should be uh, some some good news to think about and the the business that they're calling the near field communication is uh, they're calling the NFP, uh, Near Field Communication Featured Platform. So it's a figurine business that uh, they will be using to draw even more attention to game sales. So using these figurines. They showed a Mario figure uh, demonstrating that it could be used across many games. The figure itself. And the figure would have then become its own custom figure by doing... Uh, the interaction between games and the game will be displayed at E3 and uh, probably will help to spur sales probably with 
So we have that to look forward to. And of course, they also announced the release schedule. No new games were announced for Wii U at this time, but they did say new games will be shown at E3. So yet again, we have more to look forward to next month. So there you have it. Your Nintendo news for the day. Good news, bad news, okay news, things to look forward to. The best news is is that the Wii U is not being sold at a loss, and they are not going to abandon the Wii U at all. They did say they are working on new hardware, but release date is uh, undetermined. But but the Wii U is not going anywhere. They haven't satisfied the consumer base yet, which means that the Wii U has really not been uh, brought to its full potential. Which uh, probably anybody could tell you that. Alright guys, we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.